This is Global Banking and Finance Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review Awards reflect the innovation, achievement, strategy, progressive and inspirational changes taking place within the global financial community. The awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes, prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. Today, we're pleased to make an award to Senli Money Transfer in Mongolia for fastest growing fintech company Central Asia 2021. Senli Money Transfer is part of Mon Remit Limited and is based in the Mongolian capital of Ulaanbaatar. Transactions are rapid thanks to international communications as well as providing modern telephone apps for all customer services. Recently, Global Banking and Finance spoke to Buma Zuga, who is the local director of the subsidiary Mon Remit. Well, thank you so much for coming to talk to us today about your organisation uh, and indeed congratulations on winning the award uh, from Global Banking and Finance. Oh, thank you so much. I'm an honour to be here um, and I'm honoured to receive this award on behalf of our team in Mongolia. Excellent. Let's find out a little bit about the organisation, if we can, Sendly Money. Uh, first of all, uh, tell us about the history of the company and how it came to be. Okay, so uh, Sendly is a Mongolian remittance fintech firm. It was established in 2015 by Narambat Batutolak. Um, he's this very young Mongolian um, guy who had worked in the banking and financial sector for many, many years. He worked in the Ministry of Finance and then he worked later on at the Mongolia's uh, largest bank called State Bank um, as an CFO and then a vice director. And he left his job in order to uh, build a modern payment ecosystem in Mongolia. And he teamed up with his friend uh, Tsalma Mukhtur and together they uh, established Mongolian Mutual Financial Group in Mongolia. And the group now has 11 companies. And the two of the fastest companies in the group are High Payment Solution, um, which, is, uh, which has uh, created the Mongolia's first comprehensive payment processor for online businesses. And the second one is our Sandly. And Sandly was established um, in order to make the Mongolians living abroad to be able to send money uh, to Mongolia in the most um, cheapest and easiest and convenient way. And of course, uh, the other way around too, people in Mongolia to be able to send money abroad in a, an efficient way. Well, you mentioned there about sending money home and abroad and so on. Tell me a little bit more about the services that Senli actually provide. So, remittance is our main services. And in, over the years, we have added more and more services. So, one of them is that we have partner, uh, partnered with the Mongolian real estate agents as well as the housing developers to make it uh, possible for Mongolians living abroad to be able to buy houses and apartments in Mongolia. And we, we are now making it even more easier by uh, making, uh, our making our mortgage loans available in our assembly application so people can more easily buy uh, an own home in Mongolia while they're living abroad. And second service uh, we have available right now is we're working with the Mongolian State Insurance Office um, and uh, that is going to allow the Mongolians abroad to pay uh, volunteer insurance. So when they come back, uh, return to Mongolia, they will be able to qualify for the state, um, state pension and there will be no gap and so on. Um, and we, I mean, that's just the services we have. Um, we're also um, working on to add more services. So one of them is um, soon, it's very soon it will be possible for Mongolians living abroad to be able to shop online in Mongolian stores. Um, another thing is over the last couple of years, there has been tremendous interest from the Mongolians abroad to be able to invest in the Mongolian small companies as well as the big companies by the shares and stocks. So um, we are working on that and soon it will be available in our assembly application as well. So a vast range of services there, very, very useful, many of them as well. Uh, and you mentioned a, a lot about uh, the, the, the services you're providing, and that's been a very rapid growth, hasn't it? Uh, what has led, do you think, mainly to this, this quick growth within the organisation? Um, I think there are several factors, but um, I think that w one of the biggest reasons is that there was no service same as us in the market. 
they were similar surfaces, but not nothing same, as, at least in the same scale as us. Um, I mean, from the beginning f up until now, uh, we have done everything, focus on the Mongolian customers and make the services available to Mongolians. So our Sendly application was made for the Mongolians. It's in the Mongolian language as well as in English. Um, all the support system um, is available in Mongolian as well as in English. And we know th um, there are over 92% of the Mongolians above age 15 have bank accounts in Mongolia. So we have teamed up with all the banks in Mongolia. So anyone from any part of the world can send money through our Sendly application to any banks in Mongolia in the shortest, um, within a 10 minutes, most of the transactions within 10 minutes. Not many people perhaps know about Mongolia and certainly the business operations. I mean, why is it so attractive and why is it an important market for remittances, would you say? Um, so Mongolia is a small country with um, 3.2 million people in a really large area. Um, but although we are small in size, we are quite skilled. Most Mongolians are literate and we are mostly most people are fluent in English and we are really good in areas of math and science and information technology. But I think the, I think that one of the reasons makes Mongolia really unique is that um, we are quite, compared to the other Central Asian countries, we are more open and democratic. And I think that's why you will see a lot of Mongolians open to living and studying and working abroad, as well as they're coming back and staying connected. Um, and this can be also reflected, uh, reflected in, the, um, in the transactions. You will see that the Mongolians sending money back to home, as well as they build up a savings. And when they return home, they bring the savings. So um, that's one of the unique thing. And another unique thing is, um, Mongolian economy um, became one of the world's largest, uh, fastest growing economy due to our natural resources. We have the world's largest copper mining, Oyutatla, uh, and that has uh, and uh, many other natural resources, and that had brought an, an in attention from the international markets on Mongolia, and we saw lots of uh, international companies um, establishing their offices in Ulaanbaatar. Mongolia. So the migration um, is not just from to other countries, it's been also to coming into Mongolia. And I think that's quite unique uh, compared to uh, other countries. Yeah, as you outlined there, there's obviously a, a good amount of wealth in Mongolia. Uh, with that rapid growth that you've been talking about, what kind of challenges, what kind of growing pains have you had over the years? Um, yes, yeah, so we had, uh, we had lots of challenges, but I think the, the biggest challenge is that because we're a small country, I mean a small company, and we're also coming from in a country that not many people know, um, we find, find ourselves constantly that we have to prove ourselves. So when we reach out to the big players in the remittance market to partnership, we naturally have to prove and show them that we have the resources and capabilities and we have the experience and we can do this. And I mean, that's, and this is not even, um, and it can apply to small things as opening a business account in UK. Um, we, we have to show that we are capable, we have the resources. So it's been always, always a challenge even now to constantly proving ourselves. But those challenges have been amazing. successful for you. Uh, looking ahead to the future, what would you see as being the important developments and, and plans that you have for, for going forward? Um, so in the coming years, we are very excited um, about making our service available in the UK, here in London, as well as in Korea. Uh, we have uh, two subsidies established in these two countries. Um, we are also working right now to make uh, um, make our services available in all of the countries in Europe, and that'll be in 2020. So that's going to be a big expansion for us, um, and of course, to expand to more countries where other Mongolian country um, people are. And the second um, second uh, thing uh, in the long long term, because we have gained this lots of knowledge about doing this business and we have built up a business model. We hope to replicate this model um, into other um, small but sparsely co populated country 
in Central Asia as well as in Af Africa and bring our services to those clients um, of those countries all over the world. So certainly expanding to other nations as well as your own. It sounds a fascinating uh, time and a, quite a challenge for you as well. In the meantime, Burma, thank you so much for coming here today and congratulations on the award once again. Thank you so much and thank you for inviting us. <laughs>